how do you beat the heat? Well, I like to go to things like this and, uh, well, run in the sprinkler and go swimming and stuff. I stay in the shade, and when I'm not in the shade, I play in the water. I like to go to the spray park, and I like to go swimming. I enjoy coming here to this park with her. It, it, I like the mist coming off. Basically, water is a good key to staying cool in the summer. With the summer well underway, Alberta Health Services wants to remind Albertans to be aware of heat safety. When temperatures are high, Alberta Health Services recommends the following. Reschedule outdoor activities to cooler hours of the day. Take breaks from the heat by spending time indoors. Drink plenty of water. Apply sunscreen and wait 20 minutes before heading outdoors. Wear a wide-brimmed hat and sunglasses. Wear light-colored clothing. Seek shade when possible and monitor yourself and others for signs of heat exhaustion or stroke. AHS Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Vivian Suttorp, says if someone has been exposed to too much heat, they can develop a condition known as heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion is when our bodies are trying to cope with the heat. So some symptoms of too much heat exposure, or we call that heat exhaustion, may include a child or your loved one or yourself suddenly becoming sleepy, tired, they may be really thirsty, they may feel nauseous, may actually vomit. Um, that is important to recognize. Get those individuals out of the sun immediately, rehydrate them, take some layers of clothes off and, and cool them off. If this isn't recognized at that stage, it can progress to heat stroke. Heat stroke is a medical emergency and at that point people may lose consciousness and actually can be fatal. When temperatures do begin to reach extremes, heat advisories will be issued to remind the public to keep heat safety in mind. So there's actually a new system in place through the Meteorological Society of Canada where there's monitoring of heat and trends. So you may have noticed a couple of weeks ago they actually issued a heat warning. And so there are heat advisories being issued and then a heat warning. If there are prolonged uh, forecast for prolonged uh, high temperatures, then they will issue a heat warning. And it's more to remind individuals and, and, and citizens about the importance to be proactive in the time of very hot weather. For more information on heat safety, visit ahs.ca forward slash heat. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Ryan Craddock.